Hello everyone, welcome to Full Moon Movies. The Witches of Eastwick, directed by George Miller and starring Jack Nicholson, Sher, Suzanne Sarandon and Michelle Pfeiffer, is a film that defies easy categorization. It seamlessly blends elements of dark comedy, fantasy and feminism to create a unique cinematic experience. In this review, we will explore the film's character development, key scenes, its distinctive qualities and the message it conveys while also considering its enduring relevance in today's context. And of course, I will do the unboxing of the movie for you. Now, at the heart of The Witches of East Week, its character development of its three leading ladies, Alexander by Sher, Jane by Suzanne Sarandon, and Zuki by Michelle Pfeiffer. Initially, these women are portrayed as lonely, unfulfilled individuals in the quaint town of Eastwick. Now, however, their encounter with enigmatic Daryl Van Horn, played by Jack Nicholson, awakens their dormant desires and powers, leading to a transformation in their characters. Now, as the film progresses, they become more empowered, both sexually and emotionally. The key scenes in the film are designed to captivate the audience. One standout moment is the seduction and transformation scene where each of the witches discover her newfound abilities and indulges in magical mischief. The film's climax, where the witches confront Daryl Van Horn, is another pivotal scene that showcases their growth and determination. Now, The Witches of Eastwick stands apart from other films of a similar genre due its bold exploration of female sexuality and empowerment. While it incorporates elements of fantasy and supernatural, it grounds these aspects in the emotional experience of its female protagonists. Also, the film offers a feminist perspective, highlighting how women can break free from societal constraints and assert their independence. The message of the film is twofold. On one level, it is a cautionary tale about the dangers of giving in to one's darkest desires without considering the consequences. On another level, it is a celebration of women's liberation and their ability to define their own destinies. The film suggests that women can wield power over their lives, challenge the status quo and form strong bonds of friendship and sisterhood. George Miller's direction brings a whimsical and darkly comedic tone to the film, perfectly complementing the supernatural elements. The screenplay adapted by John Upsky, novel by Michael Christopher, clearly navigates between sensuality and satire, creating a narrative that keeps viewers engaged. The film's music composed by John Williams adds an enchanting and occasionally an eerie backdrop to the story. It blends classical and whimsical elements that enhance the overall atmosphere. The cultural styles of the era, including the fashion and music of the 1980s, are seamlessly integrated into the film. Now, in today's context, The Witches of Eastwick remains relevant as it speaks the themes of female empowerment and sexual liberation. It encourages women to embrace their desires and stand up for their rights, echoing the ongoing conversations about gender equality and self-determination. Jack Nicholson delivers a memorable performance in The Witches of Eastwick as Daryl Van Horn, a wealthy and charismatic man who becomes the object of desire for the three central female characters. Nicholson's portrayal of Daryl is both charming and devilish, and he brings his trademark charisma to the role. He effortlessly embodies the character's seductive and enigmatic qualities, making him an ideal fit for the role. In conclusion, The Witches of Eastwick is a bewitching cinematic experience that views together fantasy, feminism and dark comedy. 
the character development of its leading ladies, the key sea scenes that dazzle and its feminist message make it a film that continues to captivate audiences. Now this movie is a must watch.